Hi, John here. In this video, I will talk about five brutally effective ways how to increase a conversion rate of your e-commerce store. This video is actually not really about only increasing that conversion rate. It's more like opposite, right? Because a lot of people already have like a great pages, great offers, great ads, you know. And but for some reason, they sometimes like make that store itself you know product pages you know or their ads like so complicated they just throw so many like trash there you know that they almost like decrease that conversion rate so this video is more about fixing things and undoing things that actually are decreasing the conversion rate so your conversion rate will get back to awesomeness and okay so most people really what they need to do is to shave off some things that they actually did in the past right and first one is definitely one of those email opt-ins, wheels of fortune, right? I mean, look, I'm no email hater, right? I absolutely think that emails are super important because, well, they can take your Facebook, they can take your Google, they can take your YouTube, but email is always something that stays with you, right? And if you have a customers and they are repeating, you know, purchases, then whatever will happen, email list always stays with you. So, I think that you should absolutely, you know, like get opt-ins, you know, for email, offer like a discount codes if they will, you know, get to your newsletter. But uh, what I would not do is to, for example, add that opt-in on product pages where we are literally running traffic, right? And mostly I'm talking about that pop-up, right? So let's say that you are on the phone, right? Trying to like uh, check that product page, right? Your customer. And then when basically you don't even want to leave, you just, you just like, move you know like finger to the wrong part of like a screen and immediately like pop up you know will like a you know pop up and say like that okay you will get like 10 percent off if you will give us your email right and first it's like wrong because when somebody comes from let's say facebook they are in very like a almost like a limbo state right because they were not on Facebook to buy, but for some reason they seen your ad, it was interesting, it was emotional, so they were hooked to that product, they wanted to see that product page, maybe they will buy, right? Let's say that they even like the price, all the like, benefits there, and then, without any reason, just because somebody was actually properly, you know, consuming that, that landing page that you actually have written, then some pop-up appeared and completely like, cut their attention, right? basically cut those like emotions because they were they liked something they were in limbo they were trying to go after that uh, impulse buy almost and you disturb them right and from that moment they start thinking they maybe think like maybe it's too expensive oh maybe i will just come back to this ad later or i will buy it later right and then they will buy it later okay they will just leave and it will never you know ever actually you know get them to convert so if i would want to do something first is to kind of like get rid of these like wheels of fortune on product pages but I'm running traffic right because what I want to do is to distract people right I just need to have that sales process you know that road to the checkout silky smooth like without any like a stones you know or like a, or like a destroyed glass you know where they can actually cut so I just need them to really like follow that road, you know, the paved road with like awesome emotions and show how that product will immediately change their lives, right? But I don't want to throw on them things that will stop them and make them use brains because once they will start thinking, they might really like uh, use logic and think like, okay, maybe it's too expensive, maybe I don't need it. I can buy like some other things, you know, with this money and that's it, you lost. Another thing is to making your offer as easy as possible you know, to understand because sometimes people really try to make that offer like super complicated right so let's say that they will say like buy two and get 50 percent off of one or something like that. you know or something like that. just like make it offer so complicated for a person who really like uh, is in limbo state right when they came to that ad that uh, these people will just need to think you know about that offer so if you say like, okay, buy one and get 50% off next one for free or something like that, it's just, it just too complicated, right? Just make things easy, right? So either let's say that, say buy one, get one free, right? Everybody will understand. Buy two, get one free. Even that is complicated, but people will understand. You know, you buy this and get 70% off, right? Or 25% off. Percentage are easy to understand. Buy this, get free shipping, you know? 
everything like this is very easy to understand so people just they don't need to use you know they're like a brain power they will just their brain will just process it immediately you know consume that information and move to another thing but uh, by really like making it difficult you know that they need to count they need to think like so, so what is it right then you are basically like again like distracting people in the middle of the sales process and basically you are destroying the chance that that person will impulsively buy right they will just stop start thinking and from that moment it's like a game over because they will think okay so maybe i will buy next time right i, I can just come back to this and they will never you know come back to this like in most cases or you will need to retarget them and that already will increase that uh, cost per acquisition right and decrease your conversion rate another thing is that basically what happens in facebook ads right people just try to add for example discount codes instead of headlines right and sometimes the discount codes are like a complicated right like like a product XY, you know, February 2015 or something like that, or like a 50% off product name, right? It's just like sometimes very complicated and people with short attention spans, especially on Facebook, they will not understand, right? I mean, again, imagine, right? Person sees like million posts, right? Like a whatever post, like movies, right? Like some teasers or then some posts from friends, you know, some other videos, right? Instagram, whatever, you know, and then they will see your ad in, in the middle of all that like a uh, chaos, right? And they see it like a super, like a great thumbnail, you know, it's interesting. They're emotionally hooked to that product and they see a headline and then basically you want in middle of the like a complete chaos to remember the discount code from like a three different words, right? Or two words that had nothing to do with each other, right? So it's like almost like impossible for people to remember it, right? And then basically they will come to the checkout and they will think like, so So they will just think that they remember this discount code, they will put in that discount code like field, right, and checkout. And it says like, no, the discount code doesn't exist. So they will think like, so what, what was it, right? So you want basically them to come back, you know, all these steps to really check the discount code again and basically go again back, right, to finish the purchase. But do you understand how difficult it is, right? You are basically, again, distracting people from really like going smoothly to the checkout without anything to do. Only thing they need to do is to, you know, get a credit card and pay for it, right? That should be like only, only work that they have, have to do, right? Everything else should be like super smooth. It should be like so smooth that they will not even like a think about like any logical things right like maybe i should not buy it today or maybe you know so it needs to be so easy and if you want to actually give somebody a discount you don't even need to mention a discount you can actually add it or you can mention it but add it also to the link right because shopify can actually like have the discount code specifically you know embedded in the link so once the person will go through a link they will automatically, you know, get a discount code to their checkout, right? So they don't actually need to remember it. They will not bounce and they will actually finish their purchase and give you money. The worst thing that you can do is kind of like a make it complicated. So these people will just bounce and not give you their money. There is another thing that I think this is like a horrible, you know, and I seen it some stores do it is that they want to make people register first before they will buy, right? Well, I don't know if this is like a good idea and well, let's say, okay, so maybe if you are like a Amazon, I understand, okay? But if you're like a normal store, right? Like small business owner, right? And you are making more than like $1 million per month. Well, that's like a very dangerous ground, right? Because just by really like uh, making people to like register first for account so they can finish the purchase, it's just like a complete like conversion killer right and i seen it a lot recently like a lot of people do it and it's like a it's very dangerous it's like you know you hate money right because well if somebody really comes again from facebook right and they don't want to buy right and then they like that product in that all chaos that people are constantly like sending on them in the newsfeed and they go through you know to all your landing pages con consume everything, are okay with price, are okay with all benefits, features, they just like it, they already see themselves how they are like using this product, their life is like 10 times better than it was yesterday, and then they come there, right, and want to click on checkout, and it's like a create your account. And it's like, in that moment, that person will really like uh, wake up, you know, and think, ah, oh, maybe I don't need it, you know, I I'm just like, deal with it later. 
they will never deal with it, they will leave, you will never see them, you will never see their money, they will never buy from you again because there's like a million other companies that actually don't force them to register first. I mean, how even like a dumb this is, right? Because that person will anyway give you their email once they will purchase. So you can just, you know, like throw them into creating that profile after they purchase, right? Because then you can motivate them with like some additional discount you they will create that code, right? It's just very, like, very dangerous, you know, to do it before they actually give you money. Like, what logic is this, right? Why you want to make people to do something absolutely uncomfortable for them, right? You know, before they will actually give you money and create some emotional co connection between your brand, you know, and them. That's, like, very, very, like, a uh, stupid, right? Because you need to first give these people something and motivate them to do it. You cannot do it bef you cannot do it before, you know, that when before like you will exchange values, right? So it if you want to, you know, like create some customer accounts, right? Then definitely do it after they purchase, you know, try to do it, you know, through emails. But after you will actually, you know, get that first order. So they have like some connection with you. Don't do it before. Because I mean, they will just bounce, like nobody needs you, right? I mean, there's like a million other companies selling like very similar products, right? You like, nobody needs you, right? So why they should even like uh, waste time on you? Just, just sell them something, then do it. Okay, and last thing is, do not throw too much technical information on people on your landing pages or product pages. Like try to keep that copy lean, right? I mean, yeah, if you are selling something for like uh, electronics, right? You need to say like some specifics, right? Like, uh, you know, how it works, right? With batteries, sizes, right? I mean, I mean all the technical stuff, but keep it like small and maybe like hide it somewhere. So if they want to see it, they will just need to like click on some like other window. But uh, keep that product page as like a emotional, you know, and focused on benefits as possible, right? Just the product page mostly sell how that product will change their life and kind of like a sell them real like emotions you know and sell the future it should not really explain like uh, in 20 paragraphs you know that uh, how battery works right because i see it a lot that sometimes just like have like a column of like a you know like 100 words where they just talk about like a width of the product right or just like packaging of the product it's just it's just, it's just like waste time with so many things that nobody will ever read and if something will happen, you will just bore them to death and they will just bounce, right? So it's way better to just, okay, give them all important information, the technical, but if it's not something that really like increase that product value or really like makes people to move and buy, then definitely like keep it as short and small as possible so it's there. But if it really like doesn't move that needle, you know, and make them buy, then just like a Really like it. don't really spend so much time on it really like focus on things they will actually sell that product right and increase the conversion rate so thank you very much for watching my video and i hope it helped and if you still download my book facebook at launch guide for e-commerce definitely do it i wrote it for e-commerce owners you know literally like for people who even start or just work with our agency and if you are starting out you will actually find there exactly how we scale you know from zero to fifty thousand dollars in profitable ad spend when to stop what so you are never in loss you know and always scaling basically only things that are really like producing money so you are not scaling losses like other people or for example if you work with agency it will kind of like show you if that agency is actually doing a great job if they are not really like average slacking or really like a pushing down your success, right? Because you might have like a way better results, right? With some other people. So definitely download it, it's still free. And if you like my videos and would like to see more of them, definitely subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you in my tomorrow video. So thank you very much and bye for now.